This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good afternoon, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for May 23, 2023. And in the news this afternoon, three shot two fatally in West Marland. Three people were shot too fatally at George's Plain in Westmoreland on Monday night. The deceased have been identified as 46-year-old Ryan Williams, otherwise called the Bad Cooley, and 26-year-old Ted Roy Chase, otherwise called the Teddy, both laborers of the community. The injured woman is being treated at hospital. Reports from the police are that about 9.45 p.m., the woman was sitting on her veranda, while Williams and the Chase were sitting at the front of the yard having a conversation. Shortly after, loud explosions were heard coming from the front of the yard, and all three individuals ran in separate directions. When the shooting subsided, it was discovered that the female received gunshot wounds to her groin and left her thigh, Williams to his abdomen, while Chase received multiple gunshot wounds all over his body. The police were summoned, and upon their arrival, the three victims were transported to the hospital, where Chase and Williams were pronounced dead. No motive has been established for the shooting. Teachers demotivated by poor treatment from government, says JTA. President of the Jamaica Teachers Association, Lassandra Harrison, has accused the government of failing to respond to major issues affecting the nation's educators. Among the grievances, she said, are discrepancies and anomalies following the recent compensation review, with hundreds of teachers reportedly experiencing issues with salaries paid out to them. Harrison said despite the concerns being raised and the request for recalculations and the technical committee to deal with the issues, our public calls have fallen on deaf ears. She is calling on the government to immediately respond to a request for a meeting to address the issues. What can't regard for the nations, teachers. All the Jamaica Teachers Association has been asking is for the government or employers, the persons with whom we negotiate, for them to facilitate a meeting to treat with the outstanding matters, the anomalies that have arisen from the implementation of the compensation, the restructuring exercise. We're not asking for additional. All we're asking is that that which you have agreed to give the teachers of this nation, that it be, that it be, that they actually receive what it is you have promised them. Is it that the government is not concerned about the state of education and the potential impact will that have on the state of education, on the state of our children whom we so say we care about. We call on every well-thinking Jamaican to join the call that what is the fair due of the teacher that the government of Jamaica responds and responds not tomorrow, not next week, not when they feel like, immediately to the teacher's plight. Do we want demotivated individuals going into our classrooms every day before your children? Parents, I ask of you, the teachers of this nation are deserving of better. They're deserving of better treatment and they're deserving of the professional courtesy as any other grouping. We should not be begging the government to respond to us. Jamaicans need to decide what quality education system it wants for its children. You cannot continue to have demotivated, despondent, demoralized educators going to school 
or making the choice if I really want to continue to do this every day? What will happen to us as a nation? Lone gunman shoots a man engages passing cop in shootout in Kingston. A lone gunman shot and injured a man along Michael Manley Boulevard in the vicinity of Doncaster in Kingston 2 on Monday, then engaged a passing cop in a daring shootout before escaping in nearby bushes. The incident happened about 1.05 p.m., police reported. Reports are that a cop driving a coaster bus traveling in a westerly direction along Michael Manley Boulevard observed a man lying on the ground along the roadway while a man was shooting at him. The cop alighted from the bus, identified himself and the gunman immediately opened fire in his direction. Forced to take evasive action, the cop then returned the fire, an action which allowed the injured man to crawl towards the bus. The gunman sprinted towards nearby bushes while still shooting at the cop and managed to escape in the Doncaster community, according to police reports. The injured man was assisted to the Kingston Public Hospital by the police. The suspect, who was reportedly injured during the shooting, left a trail of blood into the community. The police later recovered a red shirt from a premises which they believed the suspect had been wearing at the time of the attack. The police are actively seeking this suspect. PNP calls for independent panel to review salaries of MPs and cabinet ministers. The People's National Party is reiterating that, given the disproportionate remuneration awarded to Jamaican politicians compared to their regional counterparts, along with the relative underperformance of the Jamaican economy and the lack of equity in the compensation awarded across the public sector, they announced that salaries for ministers and members of parliament should immediately be withdrawn. In a statement on Tuesday, the PNP said to look at the matter afresh and with objectivity, an independent panel should be appointed to review the salaries of ministers and the members of parliament. This approach, the opposition said, would ensure greater equity and a more proportionate and reasonable outcome which the Jamaican people are demanding. We take note of the Prime Minister's recent attempt to address the controversy surrounding the inflated salary package for himself and his cabinet ministers. His belated response appears quite insincere and contrived the statement read. The PNP also pointed out several important questions that remain unanswered, including Prime Minister Andrew Holness's salary level, if the office of the Prime Minister has been unilaterally removed from the list of salary increases, will Holness now be compensated at the $23 million ministerial level as a Minister of Economic Growth and the Job Creation, the PNP asked. Accountability measures for cabinet and MPs. The Prime Minister's proposed the measures to hold his cabinet and the members of parliament accountable fall considerably short of the promises he made during the JLP's 2016 election campaign for office. The proposed actions fail to include the early passage of the impeachment bill, performance evaluation, and the term limits he had promised to implement within the first 100 days of his government coming to office, the PNP said. We question the Prime Minister's authority to direct the use of government funds to remove the Prime Minister from the salary roll. Were the salary increases announced by the Minister of Finance not a cabinet decision, the Prime Minister's actions appear quite disingenuous as the public has been told by the Minister for Information that the Ministry of Finance had already administratively implemented the new salary rates from May 15, 2023, even before Minister Nigel Clark announced the increase on May 16, 2023, the PNP continued. The PNP added that it is emphasizing once again that we were never consulted by the government regarding the new salary arrangements for parliamentarians. PNP MPs became aware of the changes last Tuesday when Minister Clark announced them in Parliament. The lack of consultation with the opposition is an egregious and arrogant omission by the JLP government, the PNP stated. We continue to lobby for equity in the arrangements for all public sector groups, in particular our teachers, security forces, nurses, doctors, firefighters, etc. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.